Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. Begin today's video, I will make some application based on the node red uh, that's running on the Raspberry Pi because the node red is very powerful. So I began to make some video toy uh, such as the uh, voice country by the Google Home and the voice country by Amazon Alexa because this all is free for the software. So we have prepared the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, use this box uh, if you want. Uh, uh, you can use this box directly and we have already installed the node red and uh, mosquit mqtd broke and have some settings some difficult settings already for you so if you are a beginner uh, you can just use this directly and just need some setting easy settings uh, in the node red because very many settings we have already completed for you so uh, this is easy to use uh, for many different application and this box will have this 32 gig gigabytes uh, this is the tf card and also have the power supply as uh, a dc 5 volt power supply and this is a usb cable uh, for the power supply and uh, this box is inside uh, is a raspberry pi 3b uh, uh, I think this is enough for load red to use and also can use for home assistant because in future I will make some videos ba based on the load red and the home assistant that will be have many powerful functions you can it's flexible and you can uh, drive this node and by yourself to design these functions okay this is the first video I will tell you how to use load red and work with the Google home and for voice country and you can also use the mobile phone application uh, to turn on and turn off uh, for the country okay let's begin okay let's look at our hardware uh, this is our smart power di distribution box we will use this h32bs and also you can use other country and this is the relay module and this is a brick and this is a wall switch a touch wall switch and this is google home the speak and this is raspberry pi and now I will tell you how to use the Google Home. Uh, we can connect with the network cable uh, with the Pi. Uh, I suggest you use the Ethernet. Uh, if you want to use the Wi-Fi, also you can use the Wi-Fi. And the insert, this is the SD card. Uh, this SD card is, we have installed the freeware have insert. And then now you just uh, power on, uh, connect with the cable and you will see uh, uh, this is red LED inside that is running and we will wait for the Raspberry Pi startup uh, this is the network cable and also we can power on and the red LED, uh, red LED uh, is power on now we can wait the system is the startup okay now we can open the node red this node that we have created the node, it's very easy. I just use MQTT and the node red for the Google Home node. So I can give you the result uh, like this. I have used this Google Home application. I can open this Google Home. You can see this is a switch. Uh, I can press. Uh, you can see I can turn on. Uh, this relay one is on. And also this is LED indicate on the panel. And when I press the off, uh, this is off, and this is off. I can also, okay, Google, turn on switch. Okay, Google, turn off switch. All right, turning the switch off. Okay, now you can see the switch is turned on and turned off by Google Home Speak and by the Google Home mobile phone application. Uh, this function voice country just by this node uh, you can see just a little node for the channel one and you can create the channel two now i will step by step tell you how to do with it i can delete all this node and uh, again this is for you to use the first time you like the node red uh, i can tell you the first time you need to use this this node a uh, narrow this node is for node red uh, for use google home speak and you can click this one and you will log in with your google account this google account also login in your mobile phone application so this 
this one uh, just as sync as your mobile phone account i can sign with the google and you will see this information this is a token and this is device this device because i have created if you have the first time to use this is empty no anything now not not don't worry just we can open the node again and they need to install a node like this manager and the install we just search narrow and ARO uh, install this one because I have installed you install this one after you install online and you will see this is the, the note of the uh, Google Home because we have created the switch uh, it's all your switch output so we can try this switch out and you can double click because we need to set the switch uh, link with our Google Home account double click and you can edit this and this is the narrow this config name adjust according by yourself and this is talking this talking uh, because I have used uh, just a copy copy this talking or is copy and paste and paste and just update and down you can see when the switch on that means true when the switch is off that means false and down we can place our debug information we can connect with this line and deploy and wait for a moment uh, you can see this is switch is connected to the narrow server that is our cloud server so you don't really need the internet and we can see this debug window and double click we can check this one uh, check this one and deploy and now we can use your mobile phone uh, you can see uh, this is a switch you can press the switch icon and when I can press the button uh, you can see this is on and I press again this off this also is off so you can see the debug information output this is true and the first when I press on and this is output true when I press off uh, this is output false so we can according to the output we can turn on and turn off the relay and the second step uh, because we have used h 32 ps that support MQTT you just need to set your MQTT setting uh, for the Ethernet you can see I can have set the work mode uh, by MQTT and this server IP is your Raspberry Pi IP this is 1.141 uh, just this one and the default part is 1883 that is for MQTT and this is the username and the password this just set by yourself and when you set for this information and you just you just press the save then the controller will reboot and my H32PS already connect with the Raspberry Pi that I have installed the most cute MQTT block already so now I can use the MQTT out that is controller MQTT out and also double click and you can see edit this MQTT block uh, this server is a local host that means working locally because the node led and the mosquito install on the same computer uh, or on the Raspberry Pi and the protocol is MQTT 3.1.1 and the security uh, you can input the MQTT username and the password uh, password is 123 and this just as thing as your setting on the network uh, just in these sections and now we just can update uh, this is the topic this topic we want to continually uh, on and off uh, you can see the website of King County web page that is how to integrate to home assistant you can see the payload on and the payload off that is relay one use the Jensen format uh, relay one on and relay one off it means one and zero 
So I have copied to the notepad so I can copy it easily. So the topic, this is the topic. I just use this one and uh, replace this many x is your UID. We can copy to this topic and replace this xxx uh, with the UID. UID you can find in this one. A UID, just a copy and uh, paste. Uh, just this is the topic. And we can choose uh, this QOS is zero and uh, remain. That means uh, save the state of the output. OK, now you can deploy. Uh, you can see uh, the, this is displayed, connected. So this is connected with the color server uh, of the narrow color server. And this is connected to the mosquito on the Raspberry Pi. And now we just add us function of the switch, uh, which is turn on and which is turn off. So we can just use a function. I uh, just use a switch and and add another function. We can use this line and go to this way and double click the switch because uh, when we press on it's true. So we can choose this uh, if it's true, we can go to the first node and we can add if it's false. If it's false, that means we go to the second way down. So you can see there are two hole, the two link. This is for on and this is for off. And where and when is on and when is off, we just need to add the function. This function just for judgment. So we can place two functions. Uh, one is for on and one is for off. Yeah, you can see I can clear. I can link this line and double click. Uh, this is for turn on really one. So we just send this command up. Message payload uh, is turn on really one. Uh, and the pause paste. This is turn on really one and we can press down and uh, you can deploy uh, for our test now you can see i have opened the mobile phone and uh, turn on turn on uh, you can see turn on the switch is no problem by the node led but i can press again uh, there is not a turn off so we need to add the turn off the node so we just connect this line and connect this line, just change. Okay, also paste. This time we can turn off. Off means zero. So we can change one to zero. And OK, then you can deploy. And the one is connected. OK, now we can use this mobile phone again. We can turn on uh, because it's already on. And turn again, turn off. So this I can turn on and turn off. Uh, you can also use this this switch and uh, use this mobile phone. Okay, Google, turn on switch. Got it. Turning the switch on. Okay, Google, turn off switch. Got it. Turning off the switch. Now you can see I can use the Google Voice and the application uh, for the really output the country and this is for the first channel switch if you have the channel 2 channel 3 channel 5 you just you can we can delete this and copy these sections and also paste paste this is for switch 2 and you can see uh, this we can means uh, switch 2 and that other need not need to change and just a switch uh, this also need not not change and the function just to change to relay two and this is change also change to relay two and we can use this line uh, connect with this mqtt output and you can deploy and you can see uh, this is two switch now i can close the application 
and open Google again and you will see uh, this is display the two icon you can also like this turn on now this is second this is second switch and also can turn off so you can country the second switch so this is the second channel and you will print the switch and uh, for the three and uh, four and uh, until 32 and also you can create the outlet or the switch so you just create copy and paste copy and paste uh, you will use this node red uh, it's very easy to let your google home uh, work for the voice country and then in next video i will tell you how to use amazon alexa for voice country and the mobile phone application okay thanks for watching